Hey everyone, my name is Brenda Lee Turner. I'm a health and fitness specialist and a weight loss expert and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days with one simple and also, tip. also, stay tuned to the end because we're going to be doing a very special giveaway. So, today what we're going to be talking about is sugar and the way that you can lose 10 pounds within the next 10 days is by cutting out sugars. I have a bunch of stuff here that I got for you guys and Basically, not the, not the ice water, that doesn't count, but um, basically these are all the foods and I'm going to go one by one on typical foods that most people eat and they don't realize that they're filled with sugar. So we're going to start with breakfast. Breakfast is usually consists of some kind of cereal and milk. The problem with this is that this Raisin Bran, even the Raisin Bran or Fiber One or most cereals, almost 90% of all cereals, have a whole lot of sugar and the milk also has, and this is even skim milk, the milk also has 13 grams of sugar. So this is not a great meal for lowering our sugar and burning body fat. Okay, another breakfast item that some people will do is the Nutri Valley or any kind of breakfast bar. These breakfast bars look so healthy, I know because it has all these catchy phrases on the box. Um, it's got 12, 12 grams of your daily fiber and all this stuff. Um, but unfortunately this is also filled with sugar and a bunch of other funky chemicals that we don't need if we're trying to lose weight. So you're going to cut this out for the next 10 days to lose 10 pounds. So instead of the cereal and the milk for breakfast, you could do an omelet with cheese and green peppers, tomatoes, and a salad. That would be a better alternative breakfast. The next food item we're going to be talking about is a snack. The snack that most women and most clients of mine, when I first start working them, with them, the, the snack that they're eating is the Yoplait yogurt and the banana. And this combined is about 13 to 20 grams of sugar depending on the banana. And actually I'm looking at this. This has 33 uh, grams of sugar. So that could be 40 grams of sugar just for a snack. So by the time that you're at your snack during the day, that's already 50 grams of sugar that you consumed and that's way too much. So instead of the Yoplait yogurt, what you can do is have the Greek yogurt. This Greek yogurt is plain flavored, unsweetened, and 0%. This has only uh, 8 grams of sugar, I'm sorry, 7 grams of sugar compared to the 33 grams of sugar that this has. This is also fat free. One of the other meals that a lot of people have have during their lunch where they think is healthy but it's actually not is a sandwich with deli meat on white bread. Um, the sandwich with deli meat on white bread is a very unhealthy meal and it actually is very filled with sugar. The deli meats can also be filled with sugar as well as the bread. Although the bread doesn't have sugar necessarily, it's absorbed in your body the same as sugar would be. So we want to avoid this kind of bread and sandwich. And instead, you would want to have a chicken sandwich that you make yourself with grilled chicken and brown rice bread. Brown rice bread, and let me just show you here. Brown rice bread, this is what it looks like. You can get that at Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, or any kind of health food store. And that's a much better alternative to the white bread bun that's on a lot of the popular sandwich shop places. This also has the Mary's Gone Crackers and guacamole that is homemade, but you don't have to get homemade guacamole. You can go ahead and buy your guacamole at the store. Guacamole is great, low in sugar, and high in monounsaturated fats. And to go back to the milk for a second, the milk alternative that you can do is almond milk. Almond milk is very, very low sugar. This only has three grams of sugar per serving, per eight ounce serving, compared to the 13 that's in regular milk. There's no lactose in this, and there is lactose, which is sugar from milk and regular milk. So we want to steer clear of the regular milk, and what you can do with this is add a little bit of Truvia. Truvia is a natural sweetener. It's much better than Splenda or any kind of a regular old sugar, and you can just carry these packets around with you. You can use these in your coffee also instead of sugar packets. A great dinner for you to have would be the grilled fish of some kind, any kind of fish that you like, with uh, sweet potatoes and a green or red pepper salad. It's a very basic, very quick and easy meal. This took under five minutes to make, and it's very delicious, very satisfying, and obviously low in sugar, so it's safe for your belly, and you will still lose fat while eating these foods. 
Okay, so this is just one powerful tip out of 17 other lean secrets. If you want to find out the other secrets to getting and staying lean, all you need to do is go to leansecrets.com and also subscribe to these videos. You'll get videos just like this every week to give you up-to-date information on how to get and stay lean firm and tone. Also, if you want to win a $100 gift certificate to Peapod to have $100 worth of groceries delivered to your home, all you need to do is comment in the box below and let me know what food you're going to be cutting out of your diet for the next 10 days so that you can shed body weight off of your body. And any kind of comment will do. You can just comment below. Also favorite the video for a chance to win the Peapod gift certificate. We're going to be choosing the winner by May 23rd. Again, the, the contest will be ending by May, May 23rd. You can put as many comments as you want below and we'll be picking one winner out of all the comments below.